What's up guys, it's Chris here with 7th Day Films and today I'm going to try something that I hadn't done in a little while. I'm going back to a tutorial. Originally back whenever I started on YouTube, I released a tutorial how to render videos for YouTube. Since then a lot has changed with YouTube, such as the widescreen and HD support. So today I will be showing you how to render for today's YouTube and still get the best quality videos you can get. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and get started on the tutorial. As you can tell, I'm using Final Cut Express for my editing software. If you're using Sony Vegas, the settings will be slightly different. Like, they'll be the same settings, but where you will enter the information will vary slightly, of course, since this is a different software. If you can't figure it out and if you use Sony Vegas let me know and I'll drag out my old Windows computer and create a tutorial for that one also but now as you can tell I'm using this is the video of me talking at the beginning of this tutorial video I already have it in my timeline right here so now we want to export it to export go to file and export on Sony Vegas I can't remember what this is called but I think I think it's just render as will be the setting you'll use but we want to go to using QuickTime conversion. Now we will just name it whatever you wish. Ours will be render. Mine will be render. Now under the format, we want to change it from QuickTime movie to MPEG4 and go to options. Now for the file format, right now it's on MP4 ISMA. We want to change that to just the normal MP4. For video format, we want to change it to H.264. Now for the data rate, this right here, it can vary depending on your camera that you're using. For my HV30, I can get away with setting it on 2000 and the video quality is fine. But for my Flip Minnow, I have to set it to around 3000 to 4000 and that gives it a better video image. So for just anywhere from 2,000 to 4,000 is where you want to set it. You can set it higher, but there's really not any need unless you want perfect, um, perfect video quality. But for this one, we'll just set it on 3,000. And then under the image size, we want to change it to 1280 by 720 HD. This right here gives it full screen on YouTube. YouTube will, of course, shrink it down to their standard image size, but we would need to render as 1280 by 720. Then under the audio, this doesn't really matter, but I like to change mine to 192 kbps. This gives it a better audio quality. And I just like to set mine to that. I know most people, they usually just keep it on the 128. So 128 or 192, whichever you prefer. Me, I prefer 192. And then that is really all you have to do. And then just go to OK and save. And then it will start rendering. Now, Sony Vegas, of course, is going to be a little bit different. Like I said, if you need a tutorial for that, let me know and I'll create one. But the settings are basically the same. Just change, I think it's bit rate on that one instead of data rate. Just change the bit rate to whatever you need it to be at. And then all the other settings are basically the same. So if you need any help on that, let me know. I'll create a tutorial on that. And hopefully this has helped you. I know my old render tutorial is about a year and a half old for the YouTube settings. So it's about time I made this. I've been stalling and Hopefully it helped you, and hopefully it answers all of your questions. And that's all for this tutorial. We'll be looking for some more in the future. And have fun with editing, and upload your videos, and just have fun with it.